What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Double A Hef here with another dose of the truth scope. So, um, long story short, as many of us know who haven't been living under a rock, the trial, written house trial, has come and gone. And uh, I made some videos on that already about how the, the ruling was correct and for all the reasons why. So now, uh, Umar was on a radio show. He was asking me questions regarding this. Uh, he's going to answer, and I'm going to obviously chime in. Some with um, a written out, written house, and uh, um, uh, Arby. Well, to be very clear, Bob and David, as it relates to the Kyle Rittenhouse verdict, I'm not surprised. Mm -hmm. It was a clear case of white privilege. Mm -hmm. Now, when I said that on my social network post, a lot of brothers and sisters said, "What are you talking about? How is this a case of white privilege?" He murdered two white people and injured a third. So how does this relate to white privilege? And the answer is real simple. See, our problem, Baba David, is... So before he answers, I'll, I'll give you what the answer is. Um, how does it relate to white privilege? It doesn't. Uh, and anyone trying to tell you that it does, they're doing it for their own uh, self-interest. They're doing what I call the, uh, the Al Sharpton. You know, they're they're create they're creating fires. Therefore, uh, they they can be firemen. You know, and and that's what Umar has turned into. Again, no disrespect to the brother. There's a lot of things that Umar says um, when he's talking about the school system and and uh, how they uh, treat quote unquote uh, black children and misdiagnose them uh, all the time. Yeah, all of that stuff is on point. All right. Uh, and, and correct. But then when he starts talking about uh, other, you know, socioeconomic issues um, and what you would call, quote, quote, unquote, race issues on a geopolitical scale, then it's just like, all right, Omar, like, I, I, I just believe that you're out of your league because in, in this realm, you, it, you need to be more objective. And obviously, Umar is a uh, is a. Uh, See, I, I don't even want to say a bit effeminate when it comes to certain things because he, he is bought by quote unquote black women. So I know that he, in his mind, he must believe that he has to obviously cater to his base who are quote unquote black women, uh, liberal black women, the majority. So again, no disrespect to the brother, but it just he's, he's out of his he's out of his skis right here. We don't think critically enough about some of these decisions that are being made by the power structure. The reason Kyle Rittenhouse got off was to send two clear messages to everybody in America. Message number one, even if you are not a Negro, if you stand with them, if you protest with them, if you challenge white police power with them, your life will be just as devalued as theirs. That's message number one. Protest with the black, you will be treated like the black. That's the okay. So first and foremost, the there have been so many protests just in the last year, just in the last three hundred sixty-five days across the country, uh, and then and in this particular one, again, no quote unquote black people were were killed. Yet he's trying to tell you that the message was sent that. Even if you protest with them, your life is devalued. Now, I don't know about you, but I've been making videos about BLM for a while now. And the BLM movement is pretty much a whole bunch of Caucasians, uh, liberal, quote-unquote, Jews, and LGBTQ. That's what it is. So, you know, it's not what people like to think it is. It's not like this uh, black movement, you know, run by black men and stuff like that. That's not what it is. So when he says, oh, if you're out there, yada, yada, then you're treated like them. No, they are the majority when you look at the damn crowds. When you go to these BLM functions, everyone else is the majority. And the quote unquote black man is still the minority. That's another reason why I speak out about this shit. So first and foremost, no, Umar, that's not the case. That's not the case. Because when you, again, when you look at these movements, these rallies or protests, whatever you want to call them, uh, it's like the Skittles out there. Skittles, Chase the Rainbow. Like you, you see everybody. So they're they're, they're not they're not uh, saying, oh mm -hmm. hey, um, you know, 
if you're with the quote unquote blacks and they had it, because they're the, the blacks are the minority in these fucking groups, dude. <laughs> they're the fucking minority. <laughs> but you know what? It, it, it's, it's, it, I see it all the time. People, when they speak about BLM matters, they don't know shit about fucking BLM. Don't know shit about BLM. And you can tell that because they're making assumptions. They're assuming that BLM is one thing when it's really not. Okay, because if they knew anything about BLM, he wouldn't be saying that. All right, because for instance, you know, want to want to know why there probably weren't any quote unquote black people killed that night in in um, uh, Kenosha, because there weren't that fucking many, because there were more fucking Rosenbaums out there running around and freaking um, Brielles out there running around. And again, you could look at the footage from that night; you're gonna see a whole lot of them. Uh, now, I'm not saying that there weren't any quote unquote black people out there. No, I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is. The, it, it wasn't like, a, you know, the Rosenbaum, he's the freaking, like, oh, my God, like, oh, I'm down. I'm the only one out here. I'm the only, quote, unquote, white boy out here. No, that's not the case. There are many of them, okay? So I'm saying all this to say that Umar doesn't know what he's talking about, okay? he Again, he's just trying to paint this narrative that, oh, quote, unquote, black man, you're always the victim and you're always being hunted down. And that's just not the case, okay? Thinking like that. Is what is actually holding us back. Period. Message. The second message in that verdict is to let all white folks know that if you feel the need to arm yourself and go into a Black Lives Matter protest or any other protest for black justice in this country, and if you feel the need to shoot a couple of protesters in defense of your country, we will stand by you, and we will defend you in the court. So what he just did was totally, like, for instance, I'm not sure if anyone knows anything about law, but uh, say he was in a court of law speaking in front of a judge, and he took the scenario that happened and then tried to reword it into what he just did, the judge would not stand for that, all right? That shit would be shut down immediately because there are no facts that, that say what he just said is, is what happened, okay? Like... Oh, yeah. Uh, you know, if you, you as a quote unquote white person, you can arm yourself. You can go to a Black Lives Matter protest. Well, first of all, you want to call it a protest? Um, I'm not sure if I call it a protest. Again, there was like uh, rioting and looting and burning <laughs> going on, and there were gunshots being fired, and not just from Kyle Rittenhouse. And you can hear that from the video. So uh, I'm not sure what type of protest has all of those elements involved in it. Uh, so again, you know, uh, I'm not going to just go and, and, and use that word so that a white person can go uh, arm themselves and then shoot some protesters. So again, that, that's not what happened at all. Um, he was there, obviously, pr protecting the businesses and offering first aid to people on both sides. Right now, you guys want to freaking you know, I know a lot of quote unquote blacks. Uh, unfortunately, yeah, we don't we don't like to think. Apparently, we like to just go off the narrative and oh, that's racist. And you know, you know what I mean? Because it's the easy way out. Ultimately, if you want to just keep blaming everything on racism, then what you're doing is you're taking the easy way out because you, you inherently have have an out for anything that goes wrong in your life. Oh, it's because the white man. Oh, it's because of racism. Oh, it's because of that. So, so you can never ultimately hold yourself accountable to change the, the situation that you're in. OK, but anyway, I digress. So uh, this guy, Kyle Rittenhouse, is out there. Getting chased. Now I know people like to bring the right, the, the the criminal record of uh, the people that he killed into play, but I don't even think you need to do that. Okay, I, I think uh, for, for the sake of just what happened, he's being chased. A guy out there offering first aid to people on both sides, whether or not you think he should have been there or not, but it's a whole different conversation. Because last time I checked, you know, if I wanted to go to Virginia tonight, I could take my ass down to Virginia just just because I fucking want to. You know what I mean? If I wanted to get, go to Philadelphia tomorrow just to get some fucking Philly cheesesteaks, you know, and I happen to bring my strap with me, I could fucking do that. So, so a whole bunch of these fucking wokey woke dumbass niggas out here saying all this, oh, crossing state lines, you, you sound pathetic. You, you sound silly. Like, you never fucking <laughs> left a damn state. You know what I'm saying? Even though a lot of y'all probably haven't. You know what I'm saying? That's why your fucking world, world view is so fucking skewed. Excuse my language, but it's just, th this stuff has really been pissing me off. It's like, yo... I, I, you think you think you're making progress, and then you see you see all the shit that people say to the dumb shit. It's just like, come on. But anyway, 
I keep getting I keep getting off off track. But um uh yeah, so if he if he's over there and he's being chased. Now for instance, again, say I went to Virginia tonight and I brought my strap with me and I'm out there just because I wanted to fucking go to Virginia. I don't know what's what's in Virginia. Uh, I don't know, Virginia Beach, right? Say I just wanted to see how Virginia Beach looked because I heard so much about it. And then I'm out there for some reason I can start getting chased. And then I shoot the people chasing me. What? Like, I, oh, I wasn't supposed to be there, so I, I, it's not self-defense? Huh? No, luckily I brought my strap with me because who the hell knows what the fuck could have happened. Ultimately, that's where it ends. Okay, you have, you have to look at it from that perspective because that's the ultimately the perspective... Um, that it that that took place. Now, if if it had been the other way around, I went to Virginia and I had my strap out. I'm walking around terrorizing people out there, and then they started chasing me, and then I killed somebody. That's totally different because I I initiated it. Okay, if I if I I can't be the initiator and then claim self defense, I, that, that's pretty self explanatory. For instance, if you have kids or if you grew up with cousins and brothers or whatever the case may be, you know that if you hit your um, cousin first. And then they hit you back. You can't beat them up and say, "Oh well, he hit me." Because they're gonna go to your to the parents' room like, "Oh, he hit me first. And ultimately, you know, yeah, both might get in trouble, or more than likely, you're gonna be get more trouble because you started the shit. All right. So that's a lesson that most humans should know. The fact that you have people, a whole bunch of grown adults out here acting like they don't understand that, it's 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 uh, it's, it's pitiful. So let's get back to the video. To me, that verdict was a clear message that white folks are allowed to shoot people who are standing with black folks in our protest. And it's a message to black people that if you want to keep on protesting, we will basically deputize any white person to come into your protest, come into your city, shoot and kill you, and they will not be held responsible. And again, here he goes again with this nonsense. So we're deputizing, they're deputizing white people to go to protest well first and foremost a protest i'm pretty sure no one's gonna get shot at a protest all right uh now what happened in kenosha i'm not gonna call it a protest that was more like a riot so yeah people are gonna get shot at riots period you want to go and you want to destroy shit you want to steal shit something's gonna happen to you period period but you don't hear anyone let alone Umar talking about, hey, you know what? Y'all shouldn't have been out there uh, rioting, burning shit. You know what I mean? Because you know, that's not giving people the green light to kill you. The the American government is. <laughs> you going out there destroying the city, burning shit down, and acting a fool isn't giving people the, the green light or putting yourself in a position to, to be injured. Uh, the American government is. Does that make any fucking sense? Huh? Now, let, let me ask y'all a question. If y'all got kids, you going to okay your kids to be out there? Some of y'all probably going to say yeah. Because some of y'all don't know nothing. Don't know nothing. So let me break this down for you. My kids will not be out there. Why? Because first and foremost, those protests aren't for the quote-unquote black community, man. Stop being pimped the fuck out. They're not there for you. They're there when the quote unquote black man gets shot the fuck up. That's when they're there. They use your they use your energy after you're gone to try to get things done, man. That they want. Not even for the black community. That that they want. You know, they might throw a little a little pebbles, you know, here and there, but ultimately those pebbles aren't what we need. Like I said it many, many times before, and I'll say it again. The black community goes as far as the quote unquote black man will take them. It's that simple. So if you have programs out there that benefit, quote unquote, black women, that benefit, quote unquote, uh, black children, but, 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 but don't reinstate the, the nuclear family, that don't reinstate the black man to the head of the house, then it doesn't matter. All of that shit is for naught. Yeah, you're going to help a, a couple households here, a couple households there. Uh, one, one kid here might be able to go to college that may not have been able to go to college. Yeah, but at, at, on a grand scale to help the, the, a demographic, no, none of that shit works. None of it works. Welfare doesn't work. And if it worked, the black community wouldn't be in a situation that is still currently in. So apparently it's not working, right? That was setting a precedent 
to allow white people to kill black people and others who stand with black people in these marches against police genocide. That's why he walked. It is a no, he walked because it was a clear self-defense. And people say, oh, he would have been black. Listen, first of all, I don't like to do that whole woulda, coulda, shoulda shit, all right? Because that's not what happened. What happened, happened. Now, second, even if you did want to, you know, try to say it was a, if it was a black person, um, he would have got the book at him. No, no, he wouldn't. Not with, not with all that evidence. Uh, not with the, the, the witness testimony. <laughs> not with all of that. There's no way anyone's going to gonna get uh, hit with those charges and have them stick uh, in that situation. Period. About white privilege. Unless his, uh, unless his uh, lawyer is just like, like god awful. <laughs> because now, any white person who wants to come and shoot up a Black Lives Matter protest has the chance of potentially walking away free. How do you go home from a double homicide in a place you had no business being with a gun? You Stop. Stop. How do you go home with a double homicide? Okay. Self-defense. For the place you had no business being? Umar, last time I checked, you travel all the fucking time, right? All the time. So if anything ever happened to you when you was out, because you from um, Philly. So when you out in um, Vegas for Cali, because I know you be going out there, some niggas run up on you, and then, um, you know, your security detail, shoot them, right? Or maybe you might have to strap one more. I don't know. But I know you be having security. So say it's a security. Um, you know, lace a nigga up, right? Now all of a sudden, they coming at you with the charges. You're not going to um, decry self-defense? Hmm? You're going to be like, oh, yeah, well, I ain't responsible for that homicide, uh, even though, you know, they, they were coming at me um, because they didn't like what I was like, come on, Omar. And my, my issue with Omar is, you, look, when you have a platform, you have to be more responsible. And, and for a lot of people, they, they aren't bright. They're not intelligent. They don't understand basic things. Omar, you know, he, he does understand. And again, I, I believe he's saying this stuff because he's trying to cater to his base. "Quote unquote," black women are out, were, the, were the main ones out there crying and screaming that Rittenhouse got off like like he fucking raped a little black girl. You know what I'm saying that's what the fuck you would have thought with all the energy that they, that these women had. That's what the hell you would have thought, and that's just totally not the case. So Umar does it to cater to that base, and it's a shame because it's disingenuous. I'd rather him not speak on it at all than come out here and say some shit like that because, unfortunately, he does have a, a very large following. Um, and it's not all just quote unquote black women. Uh, there are uh, brothers that that listen to Umar, um, and again, I was one of them. I used to listen to Umar all the time. Uh, and then obviously, like you know, when you listen to him speak about one like such subject matter like this, it's like okay, now nah, you're definitely losing me. You, that that's incorrect. Uh, so th that, again, that's why I make these videos uh, with Umar because he has that following, and I'm trying to wake people up. You know what he's doing is irresponsible. Pretty much what he's saying is, uh, you're a victim. You're always going to be a victim. Uh, no matter what happens, the white man's coming for you. And first and foremost, that's not true. Uh, now, are there institutions out here that make it more difficult for quote unquote black people? And in some, in some, um, uh, and 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 different, uh, you know, like what's the word? I'm sorry. Ah, <sighs> what's the fucking word? Um. Uh, I'll just skip that. Are there institutions out there that make it difficult for quote unquote blacks to 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 have equal quote unquote equal footing and stuff like that? Yes, yes, we understand that. Um, but it's it's not to the degree where you are totally oppressed. You know, Umar gets to Umar literally gets to to go around the country traveling, um, speaking about a whole bunch of bullshit, and and that, and that's his life. Um, so I don't, I don't see how he's oppressed. Okay. I don't, I don't remember the last time I seen the video of Umar Johnson getting a town stomped by some fucking uh, cops. I don't remember the last time I seen that probably because Umar Johnson doesn't put himself in positions to get a town stomped by cops. Now, am I saying that cops should be a town stomping niggas? No, I'm not. But what I'm saying is ultimately you are responsible for what happens to you. Right? Yes. Because if not you, then who? The problem this day and age is no one wants to take responsibility for anything. 
let alone their own fucking actions. And when you have people like Omar doing making videos like this, it literally, it literally exacerbates the fucking problem. Just bought. And you're not even legally allowed to have the gun, and the judge throws out the illegal possession of a gun charge. And I keep hearing that too. First and foremost, the judge threw it out because the, the charge couldn't stick. Because the specifications of the gun were okay with what the law was. Period. But quote unquote black people, and I noticed some of y'all niggas are gonna be in this fucking video, y'all don't wanna understand basic fucking shit. Why? Because you're too fucking emotional. Grow the fuck up. Because let alone, let, let that be you. Because first of all, I know there's some niggas out there that got charges dropped because of some weird, like, you know, specifications in the law. All right? And when that happens, I'll be happy as hell. So, look, at the end of the day, you can't keep saying, hey, he couldn't have that gun. No, obviously, lawfully, he could have the fucking gun. And you want to turn it into something racist? Look, I'm telling you, man. If you want to be a hammer, everything is going to be a nail, man. So if you want to be a fucking victim, everything is going to be racist. If you look at your life and you think or you, or you drop the word racist at once to five times a day, then you know what? You are a victim. But you're not really a victim. You're a victim of your fucking self. You understand? It's all in your head. You want to keep listening to niggas like this. You want to keep you know, following a quote-unquote black woman. You're gonna, you're, you're probably gonna have an untimely death, all right. And when you're dead and gone, they're gonna put your name on a T-shirt, right? They're probably gonna try to, you know, protest for you, no matter what happened to you. You know, they're, they're still gonna try to use that energy. Yeah, because of the, because of the size of the rifle. Say that again, Bob. Uh, because of the size of the rifle, that's why he threw out the gun charge. Because the gun didn't meet the size that was uh, legally made it illegal. That is correct. Right. That's the justification. But hey, No, that, that's what happened. That's, that's correct. How Rittenhouse been black. <laughs> oh, see? <laughs> Look, even when he's hit with the fact, the fact that, hey, no, you know, actually the gun was, the, that charge was thrown out because the gun didn't meet the specification of the law. The, the law is talking about guns, these type of guns, and he had that type of gun. Instead of Umar saying, oh, okay, you know, okay. Oh, well, you know, if you'd have been black. No, I just told you. I know niggas, and I, and, I know there's, and, I, and I know there's way more niggas out there that got off on some shit because of a fucking specification to the law that they just didn't quite meet. And when that happened, they were happy as hell. Happy as hell. Like, oh, yeah, I beat that charge. Oh, wow, what happened, man? Oh, really? You know, because... um. Whatever, you know, uh, doing that is illegal on, you know, Monday through Friday out there, but I did it on a Saturday. So, you know, I got off. That's crazy. Oh, yeah, that's what's up. Whatever. So, some stupid shit like that, right? So, but but you see what I'm saying? When when you're a hammer, everything's a nail. All right. And when you're a victim, everything's racist. So for Umar, it was it was it was natural for his pivot to just go, well, if he would have been black, well, if he would have been black. How far do you get in life if that if that's your rebut all the time to everything? If you if you'd have been black. You doing black when it's not? It's just not true. It's it's, just un, it's unfounded. It's unfounded. This isn't the eighteen hundreds. All right, this ain't eighteen twenty out here. So I don't know what this thing is talking about. That charge would have stuck. And 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 so when we evaluate and analyze these various legal decisions, we have to make sure we don't overthink them to the point of trying to justify. The injustice, because you see black people doing that. They don't want to blame racism, so they want to. They overanalyze the process and say, "Well, maybe there was a way that this could have happened like this." No, it's not, because all you got to do is imagine that he was a black man. Does this go down the same way? This yes, yes, it does. So my question to you, Umar, and I've been saying this before. Like I would love to 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 do a panel with Umar. All right, uh, respectfully, but th my question to you will be Umar, uh, if you believe that it would go down differently, why? Why? What actions would have been done differently by the quote-unquote black man that Kyle Rittenhouse did or didn't do? Because I'm telling you right now, if, if it goes exactly the way I watched it, it doesn't matter if it was a fucking squirrel. <laughs> it doesn't matter if it was a squirrel. The squirrel would have got off to. Okay? So... 
again, Omar, that would be my question to you. And again, we already know he, what he'll probably p try to pivot to. Racism, racism, racism. You know, even if I try to pin him down, he'll ultimately go to, well, you know, it's the system. It's everywhere around us, you know? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, like, it's like the air we breathe. It's racism, like, everywhere. Like, that's literally what he's trying to say. Uh, if you ever were to get Umar <laughs> into, into a discussion and try to pin him down, ultimately, like, the final level of all these woke woke niggas is, you know what? There's nothing you can do about it. Racism's everywhere. It's like the air we breathe. <laughs> like, like that's it. So how do you? That, that that that's why I don't really have these conversations with these fucking super woke woke liberals, man. Because it, it, it it's pointless, and it, it literally won't end. Because they they can't have it end. Why? Because they don't have any solutions. Instead of coming up with solutions like I do to to problems, you know what I'm saying? When I come in the house, and my wife tells me, "Oh, this is giving me these problems." You know what I'm doing? I'm thinking about solutions. All right, how the fuck do I solve this? This nigga Umar ain't thinking about no solutions. That's another reason why um, I'm getting real sick and tired of him saying, "Oh, the uh, Fed, uh, Marcus Garvey, Marcus Garvey." Look, dude, if Marcus Garvey were alive today, he would not be associated with your punk ass. And I mean that respectfully, man. As respectfully as possible, I mean that he would not be associated with your punk ass. Marcus Garvey accomplished so much. In his short life, in a time that was far more racially motivated and driven, accomplished far more than you. You're out here just talking a whole bunch of shit with no solutions. It was white privilege, and it was white privilege with an agenda to pave the way for other quote unquote white vigilantes to shoot up Black Lives Matter protests and get away with it. Yeah, it's like it's, this. That's and he didn't shoot up a black, black Lives Matter protest. He was on the goddamn floor, running away, got hit. <laughs> not shooting up a damn protest. They play all along. You know, they used to call them in lovers. If you in lovers want to march with them, then y'all gonna get the same thing. Play the simple. Absolutely, the message was clear to white folks. They just wanted to re reiterate that. <laughs> So it is a long precedent of that, you know, even during the abolitionist movement when white folks, you know. I'm going to make a bold statement and say that doing a TEDx talk is going to be the most transformative and uplifting experience of your life. During the abolitionist movement when white folks, you know, some of them assisted our ancestors in running away on the Underground Railroad. If they got caught, they got shot and killed just like everybody else did. Yep. So this was America reminding white folks. Stay in your place when it comes to Negroes. Let the Negroes stand by themselves. But do you think that we need to, is there a need to end racism or just focus on our own uh, energies? Focus on our own energies, Bobby Baby, because you... That was a great question, actually, that I overlooked the first time I seen this video. He said, should, do, do, do we need to end racism or focus on our own energies? And, of course, like what I've been saying this whole video, when Umar Johnson has the opportunity to say end racism... Right, which is supposedly, you know, like the, the, the biggest thing keeping all of us down. Um, he says, focus on ourselves. Because he'll never say any racism. Literally, that's how he makes a name for himself. But I'm going to pick this up in part two.